this one. Here's our reaction of one gram of aluminum. It's, this is essentially a single replacement. And then you want to find the volume. So here, I'm thinking stoichiometry. So I'll set it up, and you can calculate it. One gram. Aluminum, you look at your periodic table. And uh, it's 26.98. 26.98. Grams per moles. Now have moles of aluminum. You always want to go to moles, then do your molar ratio. Nicely, this was balanced for us, otherwise, we would balance it. Three moles, H2, for every two moles of aluminum. So now I went from moles of aluminum to moles of H2. Uh, so this is moles of H2. That could be calculated. To get volume, I'm thinking ideal gas law because, or I guess there's two ways you could do it. You could use the ideal gas law because you have the temperature and pressure, STP. Uh, you have the moles, so you just need the volume. The other way you could do it, if you want to save some chalk or ink, would be to take the moles of H2, whatever that value is, and times by 22.4 liters per mole. And so then your moles will cancel and you'll get a volume for H2. There you go. What was the alternative method? The alternative method is to say moles of H2 equals PV over RT. Uh, T, STP, T is 273.15 Kelvin. Uh, P, would be one atmosphere, and R would be 0 0.08206 liters atmosphere for more column. So you got all your variables there too. Essentially, at STP, this conversion, these three numbers turn out to be 22.4. That's where that conversion comes from.